guys. So I tell you guys one thing. One thing that never fails is when you got a big ass show coming. Uh, so in Edmonton, we have in two days a car show called Driven. It's probably one of the biggest car shows in Edmonton. Um, but anyways, one thing that never fails is when you're about to get the car to get going and something breaks. And of course, started up the GTR, everything's just perfect and the check engine light comes on and I realize it's the fuel pressure sensor. So down in here, right there you guys, right there. I believe that shit the bed you guys because I used the cop access port to diagnose what's wrong and it says fuel pressure sensor, low voltage. So we got it overnight from Cobb and it's under warranty you guys. It's pretty sick. Normally when it starts up, when it's on E85, it takes a little longer to start up. Right now the car is on uh, 90, 91 and it takes a long time to start up. There's a few times I had to re press the button a couple times, but it just wouldn't start up. So hopefully it is a fuel pressure sensor. It says it is, uh, but we're gonna replace that today you guys. And, uh, but anyways, let me show you guys. All right guys, so I'm gonna start the car and look how long it takes it to start. There you go, there's a code there, E110B, and it says fuel pressure sensor low input. Alright guys, so it's a no-go. The 7 8 that I need is way too big. Um, just where the sensor is located, this is just way too big. It's just not going to work. So I'm thinking I need a deep socket, 7 8 deep socket, so I can go straight down and replace it. So we're going to have to move on. Let's get this car cleaned up. It's just so dirty, you guys. This is all the dirt and grime when I parked it over the uh, winter and uh, yeah, it's well overdue for a deep clean right now for the car show, you guys. Let's get started. up real nice you guys all nice and clean the only thing I gotta do is just clean up the engine bay we're gonna take off the wheels and clean the inside of the barrel but other than that the interior the glass everything is clean all right you guys so today's vlog is actually about maybe just getting some help from you guys or some input so I've gone to several actually many car shows 
And the crazy thing is, I've never won anything in my life. I'd love to win. I put my heart and soul into like, uh, like the DTR. And like, I do everything myself. It's built, not bought. Uh, I pretty much, like I said, I pretty much pulled the wrench on everything, you guys. And, uh, you know, despite the amount of effort that you put in, it kind of sucks when you don't get that recognition. And I know a lot of you guys can probably relate. You guys do a lot of work to your cars. And it just, I don't know, it just, I know it just, the award or the trophy just really doesn't mean a whole lot to some people. But it just, I mean, maybe it just, I don't know, it just justifies all the work that I put in to the car. I don't know, it just, maybe just that satisfaction. But I don't know, if I ever win one, Maybe that feeling is totally different when, I, when you win it. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we'll find out in a couple of days. But sometimes it's discouraging sometimes. You know, you, yeah. It's just, and then you see other people, they go out there, buy a car, put a whole crap load of money onto it, and not a turn or wrench once and win. And I have a, a few friends that do that, and it's awesome for them. But, man, it just kind of sucks for the guys they can't afford it, don't have that deep pocket, but pull the wrench themselves and not win. A little bit of recognition, maybe, I don't know, maybe an award for recognition for, you know, maybe it's not the most expensive bill, but man, it's the heart. It's the, leave a comment below, you guys. Do you guys feel the same way? Have you guys ever been in that situation where you just put so much heart and soul into your build and just no recognition? Nah. Put a comment below, you guys. But the main question for you guys is, how is Singh going to go and bold and outrageous this year? And I got to put the car back on the hoist. And there's a couple of rattles underneath since I've done the oil cooler. And I was thinking rolling in there with no bumper. The reason why, I, let, let me tell you why, is because I keep on telling you guys, there's a lot of stuff that goes underneath the hood and underneath everything else that you don't see. And I see a lot of guys that are a lot of judges. You can put up a huge mod list, but is that really legit? Is it real? Because I can say built motor, turbos, you can't even tell the turbos are in there, but I, I can put a whole huge mod list, but it's legit. So I want to basically roll in there clean up everything under the bumper and show off all the work that I've actually done. Unfortunately, all the stuff underneath I can't show off, but I just maybe show you guys. If you guys show up and ask me, we can look underneath. But yeah, what do you guys think? Should I? Should I or no? I don't know. Just let me know and we'll find out on Saturday if I roll in there or not, you guys. But I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. Uh, I just want to do a really nice quick one because last year or the years before I didn't really vlog Leading up to driven. I just went and posted the video after so here you guys go. Uh, it's a mid-week uh, Vlog post hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, there is a lot more work. It's gonna be uh, late night for me But uh, hopefully it's just worth it you guys and it's gonna be a big surprise You guys will find out if the bumper comes off or not. See you guys then Hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. See you guys.